Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, and uh, well, I want to be pretty much one video today because, um, unfortunately, I have a lot of stuff to do today, so I do not have the time to post more videos, unfortunately. But tomorrow will be more of a day where I can't be able to. Anywho, um, there is this Ohio derailment train thing that's been going on. Now, this video may be exceptionally long, but that's mostly because of all the information that I was able to gather within a pa within the past hour or so. So, to try to go over all this, show you all the videos, clips, and stuff that you guys need to see, you will have to kind of bear with me and kind of see what's going on. The media is not showing this, and I'll have proof of them not showing that, including Biden administration not talking about this, and only a few other people, other people that may be talking about it, but others are not. So, without further ado, let's start with this very first video on um, kind of what's going on here of... Uh, with the fish situation, and then we'll pre go on throughout this throughout this uh, whole series here. Take a look. I am currently in Negley, Ohio. I'm at the corner of By Road in US 170 North. This is the bridge that goes over top of Leslie Run. This is their filter barrier that they have currently. But I think it's important for people to see the dead fish. Um. I'm going to walk under the bridge here above and show you. Coming right up, another fish. Um, there's hundreds of them up here in this area across here. Hundreds. Another fish. Another fish. They're just everywhere. Um, fish 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 I mean these are minnows I mean they are in our streams fish 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 so as you can see there the woman is obviously showing the all the dead fish or the, some of the dead fish that they have that is in uh, pa Pakistan I think Pakistan Ohio I could be paying, uh, pronouncing that wrong um, and this one specific clip here, this one is going over what's going on with the chemicals in, in Ohio, um, the plant issues, and um, all the things that are concerns to the people, which the media are not covering. Now, obviously, the local media is covering this, but the bigger media outlets, such as, like, maybe CNN, I think CNN has something on it, but all the other bigger media outlets are not talking about this. So, um, this video is mostly for your awareness for the Ohioans and uh, anybody else in this country to kind of get wind of what's truly going on here because th it, this is convinced to be a cover-up. Take a look. Southern train derailed in East Palestine, and tonight we know more about the chemicals that were on the train. First News digital reporter Jen Rodriguez has been in the village today taking a closer look at what else was on that train. She has those details and much more in our top story tonight at 6. We now know three more chemicals that were on board the Norfolk Southern train that derailed here in East Palestine just over a week ago. And we're being told that some of those chemicals are dangerous. We basically nuked a town with chemicals so we could get a railroad open. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sent a letter to Norfolk Southern stating that ethylene glycol monobutyl ether ethylexyl acrylate and isobutylene were also in the rail cars that were derailed, breached, or on fire. Cagiano says ethylexyl acrylate is especially worrisome. He says it's a carcinogen and contact with it can cause burning and irritation in the skin and eyes. Breathing it in can irritate the nose, throat, and cause coughing and shortness of breath. Isobutylene is also known to cause dizziness and drowsiness when inhaled. I was kind of surprised that when they quickly told the people they can go back home, but then said if they feel like they want their uh, their homes tested, uh, they can have them tested. I, I would have far rather they did all the testing. Cagiano says it's possible some of these chemicals could still be present in homes and on objects until you clean them thoroughly. So there's a lot of what ifs, and we're going to be looking at this thing 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the line and wondering, gee, cancer clusters could pop up, you know, well water could go bad. Cagiano recommends anyone who's in the East Palestine area get a health checkup. He says get a record now of where your health stands so that moving forward you have documentation of any possibly related effects to the train derailment. In East Palestine, Jennifer Rodriguez, WKBN 27 First News. 
So there's not a lot of testing going on as you can see there and some health issues as well including we're going to have a video of a, of a person or of a person taking care of foxes and all of a sudden that their foxes are dying or becoming severely sick. So we also have that as well. Um, so first before we get into that let's go into exactly what this woman is what this other young lady is talking about uh she could be woke or whatever don't really care the point of the matter is regardless of whether she's woke or not or a democrat or whatever is that she's pointing out some very obvious issues that's happening in her own state that is not going on uh well that that that's not yeah essentially that's not going on and not being explained or covered by the media uh, it's not uh red cross or nobody is being shown here of what's going on and that's probably the biggest thing. I'm trying to I'm making this a little bit quite a quick segments of me talking because there's so much information. I want to I want you guys to be able to get all the information you can without jumping through so much of the actual BS that is uh, that doesn't need to be here. So without further ado, guys, here here's this uh, clip of what she's talking about. We're talking about the train derailment at East Palestine, Ohio, and all I'm gonna ask is that if you do this, you get your facts right. I literally grew up right down the road from East Palestine. Um, my old childhood best friend lives in the fucking town. Um, my current best friend literally lives right next to the town. It is so much worse than what the media is telling any of us. I'm getting reports from people that are down there right now that they're literally seeing schools of fish floating down streams, rivers, fucking dead. I got a video from my friend, okay, and she's like walking, dude, it's all fucking dead. All fucking dead. And on the top of the water is a really pretty chemical rainbow sheen. The chemicals are in the fucking water and they're lying to the rest of the country saying they're not. The water's been contaminated. The soil's been contaminated. The fucking air is contaminated. You literally are about to see some of the worst fucking health side effects coming out of people in that town. It's not even funny. And y'all want to know something even more fucked up? The restaurant that I work at in a whole different state had to donate food to them because we had people from the churches calling to tell us that Red Cross never fucking came, FEMA never fucking came, the environmental con con conservationists still have yet to fucking come, and nobody's fucking helping them. Meaning all of the fucking firefighters that we're working get no food, have nothing to help them, nothing. Okay, all the people that were displaced have no food water a place to stay none of that shit it is so much worse than what they're telling you and tiktok probably won't even let me post this video but if this video gets posted please save it and repost it everywhere you fucking can because i'm telling y'all they are covering this shit up they are covering this shit up because they don't want to get out how bad it actually was this was not good this was the worst fucking thing that's happened probably in the past eight years that entire town is basically unlivable now because of the fucking chemicals. And they're lying telling civilians that it's safe, knowing damn well because I took chemistry and I know chemicals and I have this awesome fucking supercomputer in my hand. The side effects from breathing in those chemicals, they're covering shit up. They're covering shit up. They're covering shit up. But it's not surprising. So yeah. That's what's going on there, and to what's uh, pretty much what I would say, um, the biggest uh, flop of, the, of this country's probably history right now in terms of what's going on. So here's what I will go with uh, with this. So we have this right now from the Wall, from Wall Street Silver. It says the crowd radius of the chemical burn in Ohio is huge. So apparently, what we're seeing here is that that, that this whole mark is pretty much the cloud of. Uh, uh, of Ohio and etc. This is this is what's going on. 200 mile radius report for East Palestine Village, Ohio. This region includes 190 90 co counties, and it it's, it just, it just keeps on going on. So that's the cloud radius of it. Now 
we have other things. You know how she was talking about Red Cross, um, the media's not talking about it, and what have you? Well, we'll actually, t actually show you that right now. So, if we go type in here, Biden, de Biden train derailment, what we're going to find here is that we're going to find nothing covering besides CNN, which is the only people that are really covering this at all in terms of media. And if you keep on going on, four days ago, the st from the from the USA Today, the story behind the story about Hunter Biden's blah 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 blah, the rail train derailment, which is from Capitol. Uh, the the none of CBS News read is in limbo following just the dangerous train derailment in Ohio, which that's the only one that's talking about it. Tur Turkey earthquake yet? See, there's nobody talking about this, and the biggest thing is that there's nobody, there's nothing related to Biden at all talking about this horrific event at all. Period. So we have that that's going on. Then we have this with here is that we have the Red Cross Ohio train derailment. The rail, the Red Cross is no, there's no stories or no articles of the Red Cross coming anywhere near for evacuations that uh, that Red Cross is doing or uh, that is from specifically. Uh, uh, whatever. There is this that says a Red Cross assists East Palestine residents. Which, by the way, I think that what that lady was talking about was about a few days ago. If not a few days ago or before. Or before. Because remember, guys, this, this stuff is seven days. I have, been, I have been having to wait a long period of time for the actual information to come out. Because there was none. And we're, we're finally getting information from outside sources that is not the media. And we have this here. We have Mike Tw Dwayne Train Rate, Ohio, which is, you know, talking about stuff and what have you. AP News is talking about the new, uh, event. Um, and we have Mike Dwayne. He is talking about it, but there isn't big media covering it. So we have this here, which is uh, y -K -Y -Y WKYC uh, channel talking about it on YouTube. And this is the only one that's talking about it. And this has 7.9K views. This is hardly enough uh, coverage to be talking uh, to get really get to, to really get anything about it. And I, I would say Governor Mike Dwine is at least talking about it. He talked about this about five days ago, so this was practically on time, if not on par, to when it actually happened. The issue is, is that it's only to be covered by these guys, which is seven K people and what have you. This is this is disgusting. He's talking about it, but it's not being covered by the media. So. What, whatever you guys want to talk about with this stuff is insanity. Now, we'll go on to the next video here, where it's showing that um, kind of what the fox is and if they're dying or what have you, which they are. So here you go. Animals suffering and getting sick, some even dying. And it's not just causing problems for the animals, it's also causing problems for their owners as well. Taylor Holzer and his family run Parker Dairy. It's just outside East Palestine's original evacuation zone. Taylor is an ODNR registered fox keeper. A couple of his foxes broke their legs trying to run after the initial derailment. One of his foxes even died. Out of nowhere, he just started coughing really hard and just shut down and um, he had liquid diarrhea and just went very fast. Taylor tells me all of his foxes have been sick and acting different since the weekend. Some have abnormally puffy faces, including the one he's holding. He says they are not eating properly. Many are dealing with stomach issues and are acting lethargic. This isn't how a fox should act. He is very weak, limp. He, his eyes are very like watery and weepy. Some of the foxes are pacing rapidly in their pen, another sign they are not well. Taylor says the train derailment is causing all of these issues. Smoke and chemicals from the train, uh, it's the only thing that could cause it because it doesn't just happen out of nowhere. The chemicals that we're being told are safe in the air, that's definitely not safe. For the animals? It's for animals or people. Taylor hopes justice is served for the animals and people of East Palestine. People's cats are getting sick and dying and people's other birds that they have in their house that they weren't being able to evacuate either. Just, it's not safe. So yeah, as I said, the fox were, are dying and animals are having issues and what have you. So that's what's going on. Now, what we're going to talk about here as well is that we have from Woke Societies here that uh, is going on while the government is trying to sell off the country with downed UFO stories of domestic Chernobyl is happening in East Palestine, Ohio since February 3rd. Uh, dead, animal, dead animals, people getting sick, arrested journalists, and MSM, and blackout. Uh, so what we're going to go, we're not going to talk about everything here, right? Because there's no point in talking about everything. 
But what we can talk about is this. is On February 3rd, a train owned by Norfolk Southern Freight derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, carrying toxic chemicals, carrying gallons of vinyl chloride. More on this later. Spilled into the ground and water, it was later decided by authorities they would burn these chemicals. We first need to dissect how the train was derailed, who owns the freight line, and the regulations surrounding the transportation of these toxic chemicals between states. The Biden administration was in quiet war with the train unions last fall surrounding the nation's railways. There are enough workers, play is, enough, is going up, and the lack of workers is causing current workers to work long exhausting hours putting safety on the back burner add to this add to to this the fact that in the last 10 years the class one carriers have dramatically increased both the length and tunage and tone of the average train while cutting back on maintenance and inspection and we have a time bomb ticking just like a decade ago leading to the canadian disaster that destroyed a whole town and, and took the lives of 47 people the name of the ra rail workers used to call the system of running trains is called precision scheduling railroading. It increases profits for the owners with lack of inspections and regulations on what is being carried on at everyone's risk. So, uh, so uh, we'll go to the last one here. Uh, according to More Perfect U.S., they have cut 22% of these jobs since 2017. In a video above the former rail worker says inspection per car took an average of three minutes and since the cuts, workers are pressured to inspect car each car in 90 seconds. See where this is going. So, that's pretty much what's going on here. And here's the big kicker about this, guys. I think I'm pretty sure I did a video on this recently, uh, a few months ago, to where where the Biden administration had to talk to specifically the train administration or the, or the train people because they were going to go on strike because they were not being paid, as mentioned from here. And that was something that had to, that was going to be done. And the issue is, is that. If that was the case, the people are going to start getting less food and stuff like that. So we, now that we're having a, a almost a food crisis with low to a with very low age and stuff like that, we're having this issue. Now there's two more videos that I technically want to show you because this kind of shows on what's going on here. So uh, before I do that, I will do this here. That we'll have with a Buttigieg from Greg Price. Buttigieg made no mention of the Ohio derailment while speaking at a conference this morning, but did find the time to say that there are too many white people who work construction. Okay, so a uh, racist statement by him, and obviously that is not the problem. And then we have this here as well. Reporter arrested during news event on Ohio train de derailment. Why? Why is this going on? This was reported on February 9th, and I think this is a few other stuff, but still, why? This is what's going on. So, what I'm going to do here, guys, is show you the video of of Buttigieg not talking about this, including the potential chemicals that is running through the water right now in Ohio. Take a look. Your contractors uh, to work with your community colleges on building a workforce that reflects the community. We have heard way too many stories from generations past of infrastructure where you got a, a neighborhood, often a neighborhood of color, that finally sees the project come to them, but everyone in the hard hats on that project looking like, uh, uh, you know, doing, doing the good paying jobs, don't look like they came from anywhere near the neighborhood. Right. You can build community wealth that will help close wealth ga gaps in this country if we can tear down those barriers. But that happens at the delivery level. Uh, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, and uh, well, we're only be pretty much one video today because, um, unfortunately, I have a lot of stuff to do today, so I do not have the time to post more videos, unfortunately. But tomorrow will be more of a day where I can't be able to. Anywho, um, there is this Ohio derailment train thing that's been going on. Now, this video may be exceptionally long, but that's mostly because of all the information that I was able to gather within a pa within the past hour or so. So, to try to go over all this, show you all the videos, clips, and stuff that you guys need to see, you will have to kind of bear with me and kind of see what's going on. The media is not showing this, and I'll have proof of them not showing that, including Biden administration not talking about this, and only a few other, maybe other people that may be talking about it, but others are not. So, without further ado, let's start with this very first video on um, kind of what's going on here of... Uh, 
with the fish situation, and then we'll pre go on throughout this throughout this uh, whole series here. Take a look.